sometimes you can get in and, and be mistaken, but in the end, I've been moving around, stick around, you know, try to throw my jab in the counter, uh, do a little burst and out. That's, that's the key to, to win the fight. Since I know you're to uh, celebrate this victory, but what, what do you want, man? If you can really pick, if there's big fights out there for you, if you can pick one, which one is it? Man, 135. Like I said, every interview I said, I've, I've answered, I want the best, and of course the best right now is Brian Garcia, Tank Davis, you know, those on my white division, you know, I, I want to I wanna fight them, but you know, of course, to get there, I need to prove myself to, to, to be able to fight them. Can you get those, those two names, obviously, you know, you think Golden you have you have Oscar Rocking the one today as well. Is that you know, two names that you want to take on? Oh, those are, good, those are good names too. You know, I've never backed out any um, uh, offer that my, 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 my promoter uh, offers me. So, those are big names and let's get it. It's, there's no, it's not, not personal, but it's, it's just a job. I know when it goes in the ring, it's all business. If you had to pick one name you know, at 135, you know, who would it be? I think right now, if it's, I know maybe it's a little early with 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 uh, Garcia says Garcia fighting Davis. I think with me, the the available right now that's probably easier and quicker is probably Zepeda, and I would love to fight him. Yeah. I don't know how to speak Spanish, but all the messages came uh, to my to Team Zepeda. You know, if if they don't have any. Or they have a scheduled fight, well, let's make it happen. Well, Rosita, you, you came in on ranked 59 on Boxer. Do you feel like you proved that you're a much better fighter than the ranking show? You know, <laughs> I don't I don't really put myself into a ranking that I am the best. I just do my my talking in the ring and I let the people judge what's my rank. There's a lot of people that probably discounted you in this fight. Do you feel like you, you made a statement for them to, you know, put you back in, in, in the mix? Yes, you know, um, I want to prove to them that, you know, hey, I'm still here. Uh, I've said this in some in the, some interviews. My lifestyle, the way I live my life, I don't drink, I don't party really, I don't smoke. They said I'm, it's boring, but hey, I take care of myself. That's how I live my life. I grew up in an island in the Philippines that is simple, and so because of that. I preserve my, my, my body. I don't have any injuries. I don't have any, you know, anything that is wrong with me. And I, even if my, on my off season, I stay uh, active, either not running, biking, especially biking, because I don't want to run every time because it will ruin your knees to keep running. So I do bike, I keep active, especially right now I have a baby. I want to be, I want to be active with this baby. <laughs> Yes. And obviously people knew that this night was reserved for Surdo and for Rosado. Yes. But you seized your moment. What message do you have to other fighters? Oh you know? man, it's, it's it's such a great feeling that, that you know, instead of as a co-main cool event, become the main event in this fight. Um, you know, um, you just don't know when is your chance, when is the, 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 the crack to, to get in there. Although this is not my first main event, but this is a special event because there's a big fight. So um, I've seen a lot of my fans that came, uh, same thing with JoJo's fans, but it's we gave them a show. Nonito, do you consider this to be your biggest uh, win of your career? Uh, I would say so, probably. But I've I've fought some big fights, although no, I didn't I didn't win against Linares. That was a uh, you know unfortunately, but I've fought some quicker, faster fighters. And my last fight was last April, so I'm come, kind of like coming back to and due to a pandemic and stuff like a lot of things going on but hopefully right now you know uh, everything goes on and, and it, it continues I don't have that long layoff and I'm gonna stay continue and 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 uh, try to maintain my weight it's hard to maintain your weight <laughs> when there's a lot of good food <laughs> so um, I'm trying to make sure uh, that I I mean, same way so I can fight right away when there's a scheduled fight. Maintaining your weight, you've been at this weight pretty much throughout your, your career since you first did onto the scene. Yes, yes, you how know. Do you, how have you kept that up? But... You know what's funny because I started at 110 pounds, but of course, as I was always younger, and then I came to California. Food in the Philippines and food in California is different. The burritos in California is so big, so <laughs> I gained so much weight in there, and from there I, I maintain my weight. To be honest, I can do 130, but I just don't want it to cut that much weight. Uh, 
with this fight, you know, I'm even underweight, and you know, um, but hey, uh, uh, Jojo, you know, is having a hard time with weight, but I'm already, I'm already ready for for this camp because I've been preparing. I'm like, hey, I don't want to cancel this fight. Let's do it. How do you Let's rate? Fight. You, how would you rate this performance tonight? What do you foresee in your future? Uh, I'll probably rate this as, uh, of course. Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm confident with this one movement, but you know now this is really the solid camp that I have with with Marvin Samojo straight the second straight solid camp. And if I continue doing that with my movement, I just realized that I can move uh, before I rely too much, maybe just power, just trying to trying to like go toe to toe and stay. But I just realized that I can move and it's kind of like natural to me. So I'm, I'm gonna continue that with the help with Marvin Samorio. Uh, that's a new kind of like, maybe new style that I'm adapting right now and which works for me. What do you say when people say, you know, old dogs can let new tricks, but yet you're back now at the second consecutive camp with him and you seem to be much sharper. Yeah, I think you can train <laughs> a new tricks with, with an old dog as long as you really take your time and really practice and be patient. And me as a fighter, uh, ever since I'd like to adopt, I'd like to look at some style. I, I YouTube it. Oh, that's a good fight. I try to get that. You know, it's it's, it's always there's always time to learn. There's always pace to, to to learn something new. And you know, you just need to work hard. You just need to repeatedly keep doing it, and and um, and you will learn it and you will adapt. You'll adapt it. It's not too late. Now that you have like the new baby. How much harder is it to kind of step away and be putting in that work at the gym without getting distracted thinking that damn is my baby? Oh man, I have so much respect. I mean, my my wife, the 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 support that she gave me right here. Come come, my feet. Oh, man, she let me do my camp. She's like, do your thing. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Danny, come here, come here, the baby. She's like, don't even listen. Don't even look at the camera because we have this outlet that we can see the baby because you might wake you up. And she took care of the baby while I'm in my camp for two months. I just go back in the weekend to, to, to visit my baby. And of course, my mother-in-law and my mom, my dad, and her sister helps too. But man, she even cooked for me for this camp. <laughs> the nutritionist. The nutritionist. Yeah, so I have so much love and respect to my wife for, for, for that. Yes. How would you rate uh, Jojo's power and did he hurt you at any time during the fight? You know, he, he has some power. He has some power. But the thing is, um, because he started in a lower division, so for me, you know, I, I can I can take it. I, I've, I've sparred some bigger guys too. I've sparred some strong guys. But definitely, especially if, you, if that power in 126, that's, that's strong. That's strong. But of course, uh, you know, I can take it. I've been in this sport for a while. Um, although, but his, his pressure is, is good. The way he pressure, because that's his style. So um, I need to man. I need to make sure that I, I know how to get out right away and not to stay in that pocket because he knows how to, to, to capitalize that style. Yeah. You, you seem to embrace the back and forth action. Uh, in round three, you stayed in the pocket for about a minute against the ropes. Yeah. Is that something you guys talked about in training, or was that just kind of the feel of the fight? <laughs> no, actually, my dad, Marvin, was even don't stay there why do you stay there you know as a fighter sometimes you get heat you're like oh man i want to get in and once you get hit yes you get hit and you're like oh i want to go to toe to toe but hey in boxing sometimes not just being brave you got to use your brain you got to move around if you want it to stay long so that's why in the fourth round i don't want to get into my emotion and, and move around that's jojo's technique that's just a style he's good at that so i need to do my style and he's gonna do his Thank you. Right. Thank you guys. Sarah, I think this is the 